26 years after it was last there, the Tour de France returned to Perros Guirec in Brittany for the start of Stage 2. Stage 2 would see the rivals travel 183.5 kilometres all the way down to Mour de Bretagne for the fourth time in a decade. Six classified climbs along the way at a finishing circuit with bonus seconds available on both passages. It was an entertaining start, just as it had been on the opening day. Yet again, Ida Skelling was attacking. He'd eventually make a six-man breakaway that will be established for quite a while. Anthony Perez was there too, as was Simon Clark as well. Jeremy Cabot present for Total Energy. Koch there for Antemarché. And behind, after the sprint had happened, it will be Mark Cavendish going alongside uh, Philipson and Ewan for the sprint points. Perez in Kofidis looking for the King of the Mountains jersey, but Ida Schelling fighting even harder to keep it. And he was enjoying himself as well. The break continue to fight each other. The only man we haven't mentioned so far, Edward Turns, the most experienced out there in the break, would go on and leave everyone else. Cabo, the only man able to get up there and reach him. All the while, Julien Alaphilippe spending yet another day in the leader's jersey at the Tour de France. The first of this race, obviously, but his 18th in his career sat in the middle of the peloton. Into the last 20 kilometers and it was really hotting up. Alaphilippe up to the front and then Mathieu van der Poel, having missed out on opening day, would attack looking for bonus seconds. Eight, five and two seconds available at the top of the first passage of the finish line. The two Slovenians, Pog and Rog, Bogaccia defending champion and Roglic would get the rest. So to the final corner. The fight for it won by Ineos Grenadiers. Carapaz and Thomas Poised. Then Naido Quintana attacked for the local team Arkea. Hot on his heels was Fondapool again. He waited, but not for too long. Inside the final kilometer, and there was the move. Going after Sonny Colbrelli, the Italian champion. Fondapool again showing he was the strongest. Pogaccia once more watching Roglic. And everyone else forced to watch as Mathieu Fonderpool went ahead and attacked. He'd open up a gap. He rode for every single second. The yellow jersey on his mind. And into the yellow jersey he'd ride. Pointing to the sky, dedicating the victory to his late grandfather, Raymond Poulidor. And Mathieu Fonderpool managing to do on just his second stage in the Tour what Poulidor failed to do during an entire career. A stage win in a yellow jersey, but behind a change in the GC. Geraint Thomas alongside Miguel Angel Lopez losing time. A handful of seconds here and there. Thomas not having a great start. But Mathieu von der Poel, the stage winner and the new leader of the Tour de France after two stages. Von der Poel, Pogaccia, Roglic with the Slovenians again taking bonus seconds. Kelderman fourth, Alaphilippe fifth. Moving out of yellow, so this man moved into it. Mathieu von der Poel, just two days into his career with the Tour de France, already the race leader. And his lead is eight seconds over Alaphilippe. Pogacar at third at 13 seconds. Roglic fourth at 14. Then you've got Kelderman, Haig, Mollema, Igita, Vingago and Godou. Top 10, all separated by 26 seconds. So to stage three, possibly the first opportunity for the fastest sprinters. Another 183 kilometers, this time leaving Lorient and heading north for a first ever finish in Pontivy. Flattish start, flattish finish, but that's after maybe a tricky hill or two towards the end. The Tour de France continues to entertain. We move to day three with a new generation having shown already why it's so exciting. Alaphilippe, Philippe, Fond de Paul. Question is, who's next? <laughs>